a completely sensible response to string theories requiring more dimensions than the ones we see is to simply say, the theory is wrong, move on. It's not describing reality as we know it. I think that would be too quick of a response because there are many moments in the history of physics where math has suggested things that seemed far out, that seemed not part of reality as we knew it, but yet subsequent research showed that those things were correct. Einstein's math shows that there should be black holes. Einstein himself doesn't believe it, but years later we now have amassed a lot of evidence that there are black holes. His math showed that there should be a Big Bang. Again, Einstein didn't believe it, but now we take it for granted that there was a Big Bang. Quantum physics said all sorts of strange things about the microscopic realm. Probabilities, wave-particle duality, the capacity of particles to tunnel through barriers that we would never think they'd be able to get through. And yet, those mathematical ideas do match reality. So the bottom line is, we have developed a certain kind of deep faith that mathematics can sometimes, not always, but can sometimes take us further into reality than our equipment has at a given moment. So we are inclined to take math seriously and see where it takes us.